Merry Christmas. Episode 31. You know, it's Christmas time. A flash for the Christmas. For Christmas. I sound like I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon right now. I'm just static right now. I'm a little tired at four hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired for no reason. I'm just tired. Yeah, yeah Merry Christmas. If you will, well, because we're just going to come up before Christmas, but no other podcast um, will be. First off, before happy again. holidays. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Jews and the other ones. <laughs> Muslims? Muslims. There they are. Merry, merry holiday. And anyone else. But Merry Christmas, most importantly. Um, <laughs> I actually subscribe to, uh... Um, actually, I'm part of Hanukkah Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, the, buy the merch. That's <laughs> what I want to say. Oh, wait, I came up with a Christmas merch idea. Oh. I stole a meme. Dropping tonight? Yeah. Dropping tonight. It's Joe Christmas Biden. Merch. It says Treason's Greetings. Huge. Buy your Christmas merch. Great for gifts and family and relatives alike. Yeah, a little, or a little late. A little but late. It's fine. It'll be there. Who cares? It will definitely be there. Yeah, probably not by probably Christmas. Probably not by Christmas. Maybe it's for like a January 3rd type of thing. Can we just do like, send, like, you know that thing where like for Christmas present they give you a picture of the thing? Like, you're getting this. Yeah, yeah. Do that. You could always do that. Great Christmas We have presents. great printouts. Yes. Great printouts. We use the guy in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> a vendor in the mall <laughs> for the t-shirts. He's in the corner, in the back corner. It's yeah, really musty and dark, right. and then he's right there. Oh, the air's not on. What the? You can't even see it, dude. Here, give it to me. It's right there. Give it it's, to it's me. It's literally right there. It's fine. All right, fine. All right, since we are very the most creative people on the internet, <clears throat> we're doing woke TikToks part of Honda. <laughs> Yay! How did we come up with that? I don't know. We're too smart. We we're can't, too we can't smart expose our TikToks. secrets. Also, follow the Instagram while you're waiting for us to pull it up. Oh, too okay, late. ready? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Maybe I should do some audio adjustment. Doop, doop, doop. Turn this down a tad, you know. Just because, you know, it gets, it gets kind of loud. So yeah, yeah, it gets a little loud sometimes. Ooh. You seem kind of sleepy, Danny. A little sleepy. Turn that a little bit. more. There, that's fine. Two, so two point one's fine. That's good. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Well, TikTok's part five. Perfect. All right, we're innovative. Well, Dr. Seuss was mean to a lot of people. Why? Well, sometimes people are mean to others without reason when they're different. First off, you spelled, it's not you spelled racism wrong. It's with a C, not an S. It's probably so TikTok won't banner. Well, then why'd you use the at? It's close. It's not very nice, and it's not okay. Who was Dr. Seuss mean to? He was mean to people who look different to him and people who... Then you're mean to me. I ain't gonna lie, she's got a point. Dr. Seuss was kind of racist. It was also like the 90s. Well, how old? It was, I don't know, I feel it was a while ago. 1930s. But he was racist. She's not wrong on this point. He was a pretty racist guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Why bring that up, though? Like, why does it even matter if Dr. Seuss know. is racist? Everybody reads him, you know? Yeah, but his books aren't racist, are they? Oh, well, yeah, they are. Oh, they are? Oh, they are. Oh, they are? Yeah, no, there's there's definitely some of his books that have, like, undercut racism. Though. Yeah, we just don't read those ones. It's not a big deal. <laughs> just take those ones out. Just take those ones out. There's literally one, it's the one with the, uh, the one with the tails. Like, like one one kind didn't have tails, so they hated them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're just teaching about discrimination, you know, it's a bad thing. It's funny. I believe yeah, but why are we trying to, the preschool doesn't even understand what they're reading. Why is yeah, this, like, yeah. this is stupid. Things they needed. And why are you working oh, with so kids? <laughs> why is she working with kids? Or... She looks fine, dude. She, looks she was racist like, like Donald Trump. Alright, now you lost me. Yeah. Okay. When was Donnie ever racist? Donnie never said anything. Like, genuinely, when was he ever racist? So, the only he said the Mexicans, he said the illegal immigrants, first yeah. of all. And he's not wrong, they're illegal for a reason. I am... So, this comment was put on a video that had. God, she's First, so loud and annoying. Let's turn this down a tad. We're so sorry. <laughs> she's so loud. Just the nose ring really got me annoyed. Absolutely nothing to do with politics, but let's dive in because teaching is political. The education system, the curriculum, school zoning, funding, standardized testing, all of these things can create and further lead to class and racial inequalities and impact life chances for our students. Especially as a history teacher, my students deserve somebody who is going to confront and challenge the injustices and untruths that are in our history that have led to discrimination. So yes, teaching is political because as we develop curriculum and have conversations with our students, equity and anti-racism need to be in the forefront of our minds, as well as giving our kids the means to gather factual information and form their own opinion. But this is wildly different than indoctrination or propaganda. She screams liberal. Okay, why are you like, 
Okay, I have a really good idea. This is gonna really blow your mind. Talk about what happened, and then in those classrooms, make the classrooms diverse so that they know, like, the, you know what I mean? Like, this is not rocket science. You know, what she's saying they can be. What she's saying right now is a bad. But we all know. It's just the way she we, says it. We just, all know when she talks about politics in the classroom, it's not what she's saying right yeah. now. Yeah. We all know it's like, Downey shouldn't have been president, and let's married, and I'm a liberal, and I hate Republicans. That's what she says. She's not a big Abe Lincoln fan. Yeah. He's a Republican. Yeah. And, uh, because I'm not trying to sway my students' opinions. I want them to form their own educated opinions. What I'm doing is challenging a broken what system. What I'm doing is have dyed purple hair. Why is this? A shirt, a shirt with... <laughs> what is on this t-shirt? Okay, it's, it's George Washington, and I think it's... I don't know. But I think it's next guy, and then I think it's Sagat Jawi or something. Oh, it's like oh, it's like who they like murdered. Or yeah, whatever. something like that. I'm not trying to make you feel an opinion. I'm just trying to... I'm not trying to sway your opinion. I'm just putting the facts out there Dude, the way I think that. I like watching like the Native American TikToks where it's like, uh, remember, you're on our land. Remember, you lost home advantage. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> you lost home I advantage. suck. <laughs> no. Dude, they didn't have guns, bro. Dude, alright, so, okay. I want you to picture this. We're in a basement right now. The lights are off. I've got a gun, but you have a knife. Don't turn the light. Don't turn the lights off. But but you have a gun in this basement. I have a knife, but I know every layout of this of this right here. And uh -huh. it's dark. You can't see shit. But I know every little thing. And I still lost. That's what the Native American. Oh, and story. imagine the gun takes like twenty seconds. Yeah, imagine you have to put a big old stick down it. You know. Yes. <laughs> and then and then I still lost somehow. That's what the Native American. And your knife's this long. Exactly. It's fucking this long. I got a bow and arrow on my back, and I still <laughs> lost. I just very much I'm wearing mismatched flip flops. Textbook. All right, back to the folks. Them and hopefully laying the groundwork for progress and justice. God, uh, you ever shut up? So it's the last night of summer camp, and we had our award ceremony tonight, and I got. You like her, her, their username? Not binary sky. At least I know what pronouns they use, right? Was gendered when they presented my award. And I know they didn't do it on purpose, but that doesn't make it hurt any less. I ended up going in the bathroom and crying. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, she didn't do it on purpose. She didn't do it on purpose. What is Which bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> the family one. I'm just curious. Because I, mean, I don't know her. I don't know, you know. That means that I've been here for two months and still their subconscious. Still thinks of me as a girl, and that's oh, really hard. Oh, the person oh, said, girl, like, no, she got the reward got or something. The reward and she cried about it? They cried about what it. What a bitch, bro. Oh, God, what a bitch. <laughs> okay, this is the thing. I think people need to realize, like, you're going to get offended, and you just have to accept I'm that. I'm honest here. When you got some goofy-ass glasses like that, I'm going to call you whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are people so scared to get hurt? You ever notice that? Like, like you, not even, like, uh, like emotionally. Like, just, like... It's that, Insulted. It's that LGBTQIA+. Okay, Daniel, let's... I'm just saying, You always man. run down these rabbit You said this last I'm episode, just and then you called the school, and then bleep, 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 bleep. Sorry, I can't say that on mom's no, camera. No, but I'm just saying, let me get to my point here, before you start rattling off whatever you're going to rattle. <laughs> you rattle my The snake. LGBTQI can't take criticism. I said that right, right? The LGBTQIA+. I, said, I forgot the A. Sorry, atheist. It's asexual. Asexual. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> atheist? Why would atheist be It's because we were talking about it's it earlier. It's like, it's just... It's not oriented. No, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can't take a little ounce of criticism, and then they start crying in a bathroom. Gold Peak sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, nope, nope, nope. All right, let's so I don't know if this is considered an unpopular oh opinion, but sense. if you have a daughter, do. you need to stop calling her princess if you do. The way that Disney has branded the princess is based on her beauty as her most important asset. This term also- Smash or pass, Ariel. <laughs> smash, <laughs> smash, easy smash. Encourages the damsel in distress. <laughs> Smash or pass, the, the frog one. The frog, the frog one. What's her name? I don't know her name. I don't know her name. 
Uh, Annabelle? Annabelle. <laughs> no. no. What's her name? She has like a green dress. Green dress. Green dress lady. Smash your pants, Cinderella. <laughs> Will the shoe fit, Danny? Oh, the shoe's gonna fit tonight. <laughs> Stop calling your daughter princess, Dan. You're sexualizing them. You see, that's just her being weird. That is being weird. Why is this important? That's just being Should weird. I not call... Oh, okay, I don't, I don't fucking know. Dress that needs to be rescued by a man. And it doesn't focus on their intelligence. Dude! That totally reminds you of Tangled. You know? <laughs> totally you to be smash, smash, smash your bed. You like the hair? Wait, bald, let's smash your pants. Bald or the hair? The hair. The bald was. Yeah, big bald guy. I love the big bald tangled arc. I didn't like her bald arc. <laughs> I, I would have dealt with all that hair. Yeah, I could have. You know, I could have wrapped it like, up in like a trash bag or something. Like this or something. Yeah, like, I don't know. Coil it. Coil. Put it in like one of the big old coils. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna test the arc on her. <laughs> so you can handle that, but she just reminded me of tangled. Obviously, women do need help because in tangled, she needed help. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Why does it matter? Like it's a, like it's a. Who is it? Her? She's actually. She doesn't look. That bad, she doesn't look angry. She's just. She's, she's just like. She's just reaching. A bueller. That's what she looks like. <laughs> bueller. Oh. Man. oh Where did that off. volume go? Oh, you stupid thing. Oh, I muted it. I'm sorry. To be rescued by a man, and it doesn't focus on their intelligence or integrity or any other character trait. Why don't we call girls scientists? Engineer. Doc. Yes, because Snow White was a scientist. I come up with you. for you. What up, stock trader? <laughs> what up? What up? What, what up, Batman? Like, what up, what? podcast owner? We don't do that. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what up, stock what trader? What up, Jet? I say Jet. What up, Casey's employee? Like, <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. What up, front desk worker yeah, number forty-four? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> like, this is some shit. <laughs> so stupid. Doctor, like. Why does it have to be? Because so they aren't doctors. It's because we hate women. No, it's we, no. I don't refer to him as doctor if he was a doctor. Like what? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. Thanks, Weld. Thanks, Weld. <laughs> Sir, Sir Welder. Sir Welder. Sometimes you'd seem like, oh, princess, what do you need? Like, no. My daughter is. Oh, engineer, what do you need? Oh, engineer, what do you need? My little astronaut, I'm sorry. <laughs> build me a car, will you? Like, yesterday and I had to lecture him again. Okay, well she's just sexist. She's, she's just neo sexist. She Sorry. Like she's that. neo sexist. Because we do not use that. <laughs> that, was, that must have been the uh the uh Ashton in the background there. Yesterday and I had to lecture him again because we do not use that term in this what a princess town. That might have been her son she just said she had to lecture her uh, son. Her son's probably depressed. <laughs> Depression. Bit of reality about. That's, that's why men' mental health is so bad, right? <laughs> this, this woman. It's because that woman. Even my own sisters have called her princess, and I will tell them, don't call her that. Maybe I come across as very controlling, yeah, but I think it's a very harmful word, and she shouldn't oh, look up to that. About princess. Like, okay, inherently, what is harmful about princess? Dude, it creates a false advertisement of women. <laughs> what are you advertising? <laughs> Beauty, like you said? <laughs> Tangled is <laughs> weird. Her princess? Probably not. Ariel? <laughs> she made me like redheads. <laughs> alright, alright. We're, we're gonna move along. Term. I'm trying this oh! no, no, I don't, I don't like redheads anymore. I don't, I, 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 I don't like redheads anymore. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ariel mid, Ariel mid. Because I keep running out of time and fucking up. Fucking I keep forgetting I can't You know how you can tell they're British? They're teeth. This is, she's British? Just look at her teeth. Again, because they keep running out of time and fucking up. <laughs> Whoa. She said Buckingham, so she's British. I keep forgetting I can't say certain words on here, so let's try this. Mostly I feel feminine or non-binary. Today I'm feeling really femme and cat-like as I well. Dude, I was she's supposed to make a joke. Like... Fox-like. <laughs> what'd you say? Calf-like? Cat-like. Oh, I thought she said feeling cat <laughs> Yeah, I feel like a little cat-like, but tomorrow I might feel a little, you know, Dude, I'm Jewish. Gonna, we're going to get a Buddha statue on this, by the way. It's going to go right here on a little shelf. Oh, that'd be kind of sick. It's going to be a big-ass Buddha. It's going to be one of the fat ones, too. And we're going to get a skinny one to represent us. Oh, this is it's, so it's pretty smart, cool, bro. right? Who came up with that? You. Me, I'm just not actually. You. Just not on the podcast. Where should we put him? Like right here, right there? A little fat Buddha there, and there's going to be a little one right here. Buddha, Buddha. Did you call it this little Buddha, fat Buddha podcast? The, the little and fat Buddha podcast. 
I'm like, man, we're going man. through, we're going through a fucking. Like, what we're going we going through an arc. Yeah, we're going through an arc. Our, our, our Buddha arc. <laughs> when are we going bald? That's the real question. But Did you um, me? no, I don't think so. I also feel masculine, mostly boyish. Um, okay, what's the difference between masculine and boyish? Boyish is like, like you feel like a childlike. Huh? I just had to rip ass real quick. Thanks for shooting. No, but a boy is like, you ever have like the Dagadars? Well, what? A Dagadar? What's they were like those little, like little circular balls that you could like pull, roll down like tracks. You never had a Dagadar? No. Oh, Skylanders? She likes playing Skylanders in her free time. <laughs> That's what I get out of that. <laughs> you know, she's like, oh, you didn't play with Dagadars? Skylanders. Okay. Skylanders. Imagine you play Skylanders for the rest of your life. I don't ever really want a woohoo. Um, I don't want to woohoo, but I don't need <laughs> it. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm proud to have a uh, hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. <laughs> she was like, it's like a, just a... At least she made the right shape. At least you know what it looks like. Or they know what it looks like. I think maybe they don't know. I don't know. Try to be a little different, or they do a little different, or him, or I don't know what's going on now. They're gender fair. What does gender fair mean? No, don't. Let's not even start on gender fair. <laughs> you know what that means? I have no clue. <laughs> is it like capitalism? Like le, le fair capitalism? It's, it's gender fair. Oh, gender wiki. Oh, I live here. That's a dope ass. That's the coolest LGBTQIA plus flag ever. What does pat? What does this mean? Oh, that's their username. My bad. That's a cool flag. Oh, don't worry. It's made by a Tumblr user. Oh, great. How many gender flags can there be? There's a lot of gender flags. They have... Should we join their Discord? No. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, gender fair or gender doer is a subset of gender fluid that never encompasses it being entirely a man. However, can experience... What is that word? I know what that word is. I'm not entirely sure how you're going to pronounce it. My aspect. <laughs> what's a via binary? Dude, you know what's good? You know, you know the thing on Wikipedia Ooh, where like, you, you know when you roll through, scroll through Wikipedia and you just click on random links that take you places? It's yeah. like this, but with words. Like, I have no idea what any of this means. You know why I like the other What is an O aspect? You know why I like them, though? They've got like some of the rawest flags out there. I ain't going to cap. they got some raw flags. Like, They're just colors. One? Edge spec? No. You want to see a good flag? Soviet Union. Is this the one? Facts! With like the gun on it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Wait, we should buy this! The Why don't we buy this? Should we buy Mojave Beach? It's only $53! It's, it's like $5 on the other side. Oh. Should we buy five? Wait, that's kind of small, right? Three feet by five feet. Oh, wait, never mind. That's three feet back. I thought it was three by five it's a inches. Flag. I thought it was three by five inches. Eight dollars. The United States flag store. Should we buy one? How have we got to this? I don't know. How have we gotten to the United Should we States buy this? flag store? Wait, do you think they make custom flags? Oh. Call us now. Should we call them? No, we're not going to call. Yeah, you're going to accidentally get a free Samsung smartphone. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's just like a good boy or something. All right, let's get back to the TikToks. We're getting off topic here. Should we buy this, though? Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll sideline it. I don't have the money for it right now. We'll, I'm, we'll I'm so poor. Too many, too many, too many elves. Some would say elves. <laughs> I can't show it on camera. I know. That's funny. <laughs> but um, I also, you know, sometimes want to take these. All right, bro. Nah, nah, okay. nah, 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 nah. I'm done looking at you. Oh, yep, yeah. This one's even better to look at. Yeah, worse. So here is a very quick tutorial Bug. on how to use bug bugs pronouns right, in sentences. Bugs Bunny! You're just making it up at this point. That was what, well, at least Bugs is an actual word. It's better than Zay Zem. Is it though? They're a fucking bug at this point. <laughs> Are you saying they look like a bug um, I'm gonna go as Caterpillar today. <laughs> I'm Bug Bug. <laughs> I'm Bug Bug. I'm Nicholas slash Tesla today. I'm feeling like a very aspiring engineer um, right now. Call me Bug. <laughs> this is this? Okay, um, let's go. Um, where is this on my Instagram? Um, Pronoun list. It wasn't in the Instagram pronoun, so it doesn't exist. I hate to break it to you. I'm meeting up with my friend Moth later. Uh, Bug just dyed Bug's hair, and it's a super cool green color right now. I think we're it's gonna go to green, Bug's house. Off, what the fuck is that? First off, it's blue. It's not even green. Hi, Moth. What the fuck is this? Well, Moth, Moth itself is the is her 
is Bugs' friend. Bugs has a friend named Mom. <laughs> so what are like the past things of that? Bugged. Bugged. <laughs> bugged. 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 And play some video games, and then I think Bug what, what said. What game do you think Bugs plays? Bug plays. Probably uh, what's that one game called? Overwatch. <laughs> no, 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 no. Apex. No, what's the one where you like get shrunk and you gotta fight ants and shit? <laughs> grounded. Grounded. <laughs> <laughs> bugs, you know, bugs is a big fan of ground. Bugs, bugs is a big fan of grounded. That Bug wanted to go to the store by Bug's self. So I'm gonna head out after that and then maybe we'll get to hang out another time. I love hanging out with Moth. Bug is a super cool friend. Did Bug just compliment himself? Or Bug self? Bug should not be complimenting themselves. But yeah. First off, ego. They have an ego. Bug, yeah, bug, Bug's ego. And, and I'm so glad that Bug hangs out with me. I. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, that is how you okay, use. I have, a question. I have a question. Be on our podcast. Talk about bugs. Zoom call. Zoom call us. No one's coming here. Yeah, you're not coming here. <laughs> Sorry, not in the we lost them. We lost them. Bug, we lost bugs. <laughs> Sorry, bugs, but you can't bug, be here. Bugs, bugs, self pronouns. Uh, and I'm always willing to answer questions well, about their at least bug sell. Bugs, oh my god, it's so confusing. Bug will answer <laughs> questions about their bugs. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, can we just like, okay, I don't mean to be rude, but can we just, if you want to be any whatever pronoun, that's fine. Just use they, them. It's so much easier. Because I, I can wrap my head around they, them. I can't wrap my head around bug, bug, self. I can't wrap my head about they, them. I can no, do I he, can, she. I can, no, I can do he, him. I'm I can starting. do she. I'm starting to move over to Zay's Emma, I get it. Not really, but I, I can accept it. I can feel it in my throat. I can accept Moth and Bug Bug. <laughs> okay, I can do he, her, he, him. Fuck. He, him, I can do she, her. I'm fine with those. And I'm fine with they, them. If you want to use they, them, I'm fine with that. But once you get into these neo pronouns, my brain can't, my brain is. Bug Bug isn't any pronoun, it's a bug. <laughs> it's a fucking insect. Head. It's a creature. You ever go by Tiger and Lion today? <laughs> I'll go by Tiger Lion, Slash Boys. I'm a professional golfer. <laughs> Tiger Slash. Oh, All right, man. Let's get out of Bugs Bug self. Period poverty doesn't just Wait. affect. It's really bug Prince. Prince is. Is, is masculine in manner. In manner. It's masculine. Shouldn't it be bug slash bug slash bug slash astronaut? <laughs> answer questions. Trans men, non binary people, and genderqueer people can all have period. No, I'm sorry. Hate I hate to break it to you, but a man that becomes a oh, girl wait, wait. cannot have a period. Wait, oh, trans men. Wait, does that mean like a woman that became a man? Because <laughs> okay, wait. Two spirit. <laughs> that's it. Dude, okay. Have you heard about the two spirit Native Americans? Yes. That's so weird. No offense. Let's look it up. Too. Okay, I'm gonna bookmark a gender wiki because I really feel at home the gender wiki. I just live in gender. Strangle. What's it? Oh man, there's too many words. Um, what is it called? What did we just say? What did we just say? Like. <laughs> Go back. Oh, um, two spirits. I've heard this one before. I've heard this one too. The the, the weird. Oh, not what? The weird, Where's no, that? Not weird. I oh, maybe it's weird. with the maybe it's spelled. Yeah. She have a masculine phone and spirit. Do they get a cool flag? No, I don't. It's because they're Native Americans, so they don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucked up. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. We won't forget this time. Hey guys, it's not just the northern ones. <laughs> okay, well this is like an actual historical thing, but I mean still, I just don't... I just don't care. <laughs> you know? I mean like... I, I don't, don't like, I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? If they weren't, if they, if they were focused on Two-Spirit, they might have beat us back to that. Back. I'm gonna say something. I don't think Two-Spirit really meant to gender the way people are taking it now. I, it doesn't... I think, I think it just, people... So, I when, think it just means what you did. Yeah. Because, like... I think when the LGBTQ saw Native Americans, they ran with it because it's past their liberal agenda. And I'm Republican. <laughs> you know what I saying? think this is just because, like, you know, something... Like, like a, a guy or a woman that does hunting and gathering or something. 
You know, or does that make sense? Kind of like, yeah, like they're two think, different. How many like, people back in like the, the 1700s, 1600s, 1800s, or whatever they call 1680, 1740. 16 to 19B, I don't care. 19B. I don't think they were worried about what gender they were. Yeah, I think they had a little bit. I, I think, think they had a little more American on their plate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were worried about food. They weren't worried about their gender. <laughs> Worried about food and getting their land stolen. Oh, didn't okay. worry enough, I guess. Okay, well, like this. Okay, what this person's arguing, if I'm reading this right, makes sense. It's just saying like if you if you still have a, a you know a, a vagina, a vagina, you can have your period. And the, which makes I mean yeah. I don't know what it's called. My woman anatomy isn't correct. You haven't touched a lot of me. You haven't even been down there know, What the fuck is the little the thingy that connects the, all the periods and shit? The, the, the uterus. Maybe it's not called the uterus. Should we look up a woman? woman no, we don't, need to. To we, yeah, we don't need to do that. But oh, it's man. something. We're so right skilled now. at what we do. Yeah, we really got the shots. Just... And arguably, period poverty may be higher in these populations. What the fuck is period poverty? No, no, I don't want to skip this. I can't here's why. I, I can do it. You ever seen a tampon dispenser or a box of free tampons in a men's bathroom? No. What about a period aisle not labeled feminine hygiene or pink boxes all around it? Periods can be a really tough and dangerous time for people that aren't cisgender. <laughs> I feel like cisgender. I hate the word so if you, cis. If you say cis, you're automatically... A person I would never talk to in my life. Because you just immediately are now throwing people in. Wait, you're stereotyping people? Dude! Terry. I'm not sis, I'm bug bug. <laughs> what okay. the fuck? Okay, okay, there's this... What What happened, bro? We went from, like, let's end, you know, racism, yeah. sexism, and now we're like, let's be sexist and racist again. This is what these people are arguing. Let's All be right, that guys. again. So let's not discriminate if you're a man, different color, but you're a sis. What? You're a cis. Cis man right there. Well, it's like, like, it's like you're fighting for something for that you originally fought against. Yeah. They're doing like the reverse psychology. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's working too well. It's working a little. It's working. I feel like it's yeah, hitting. I mean, it's working on TikTok because have a bunch of, you know, young kids on there. Yeah. Question it. You know, yeah. Questionable. Not that's for sure. And are women. So if you're donating period products or putting them out in your workplace or school, make sure they're in all bathrooms. Where, where am I going to put a freaking tampon in a mailbag? You're going to get clowned if there's dude. tampons what in there. What am I going to throw them on the wall, stick them on there with a freaking tape thing? Is, is, our, our, is our school still on the furry thing? What's the furry thing? Where they're putting like the, the litter boxes? No, we never did that. Wasn't it about to or something? No. No, we would never do up. that. We would never do that. Right. I would leave that school if they did that. Like, no, I'm not going to step around and see litter boxes. Sorry. To be fair, I don't go to school bathrooms. You're not ever in there? No. Well, there's three tampons in there if you have people. <laughs> there's three tampons. <laughs> That's a guy, no. Rooms. Or at least that all people have access to these products. Because blood has no gender, baby. Uh, Except when it comes out from of your way, vagina uh, has a gender. Except when it comes out of your vagina. The, the vaginas have genders. Sorry. Vaginas have genders. <laughs> Vagina That's gender. a shirt. Vagina has gender. Exactly. It's just gonna be the Christmas merch drop. Vaginas have gender. <laughs> this is just your friendly reminder that you are not blessed. You are privileged. Yeah, not I'm privileged. <laughs> You're privileged. Hey, hey, this house. Hey, You're privileged. Hey guys, both take here. Both take. And I get, I'm gonna, this, we're talking about cop stuff here, I get there's racist cops out there, and it is a, not a great sort of thing. But I don't think a privilege of not being shot by a cop, I don't think that's a privilege, I think that's just a basic necessity. And I wouldn't call it a privilege that we don't get shot by them. <laughs> I think when you, when you, as soon as you talk about white privilege, it's, it's just not good. <laughs> like, I get where you guys are coming from. And I get it all. As soon as you talk about white privilege, you just start becoming it's racist not a after privilege. a while. And then it just, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, then it's like the same thing again. It's really not a privilege, which I don't get. You're just, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? I'll tell you after. I just thought of something. Is that, is, is that a new chair? <laughs> is there a chair in that? <laughs> what? I think I just found a Christmas gift, Danny. Oh no, it's no. Never mind. It's just bubble wrap. <laughs> My bad. My bad, Jared. I didn't mean that. 
Let's get back to the whole TikTok. Hashtag blessed, hashtag privileged. So when you post pictures of your beautiful vacation or your healthy children. Hey, bro, you made 100K a year went on a vacation to Florida. You're privileged. Absolutely. You should give that money to me because I, 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 I drive a forty thousand dollar car. Well, it's because you know I, you know my car is like nine grand and you know, you give me the money. <laughs> no, we, I mean you work for it. It's not a privilege. <laughs> well, you, like, you just automatically had um, well, like you were born this way, so like you automatically deserve to get. See, like when you were, you were born, born, you were automatically kickstarted into like the union. So, and you make hundred k, and that's a privilege. <laughs> this girl. She definitely doesn't work for her money. Exactly. She definitely doesn't have a job. Stay at home mom. No kids. <laughs> home worker. <laughs> home worker. But it's not even like she's like. I have an, an online actual, business. It's not even like she's an actual home worker. Or like an actual stay at home wife. She doesn't do anything. But she looks like she's driving a nice car. She drives like a $40,000 car. Well, you deserve to give me money because you have a nice car. No, you worked for it. Hashtag blessed. However, he worked for it. Whatever he did. They probably went through a lot of stress. Or she, I'm sorry. They, whatever. Probably went through a lot of stress to get that. Even if it looks like they don't work a lot. I went through a lot of stress. It's stressful to start a business. It's stressful to get a good job. Of course. It's not stressful to sit on your ass all day and complain. But you're privileged. True. Because you went through all that stress. Yeah. You're privileged for it. So. In or your lovely home, and you write hashtag blessed, you are offensive because you were not chosen as one of God's favorites. What if they're religious? What if I'm not religious and I just put hashtag blessed? And you're fucking your privilege. You're fucking <laughs> privilege. Wait, but what if you just don't put blessed? Are you just not privileged automatically then? Like, is, what's this argument? I'm confused. What is this it, argument? Let's, is. All, let's talk about the blessed. If I don't say blessed, am I good? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, cool. Then. Just don't say blessed. I'm just trying to say blessed. For it, you were given opportunities that other people were not, including access to health care, a job, health insurance, and there are many people in this world who are oppressed who do not have access or opportunities. I'm gonna ask you a question. Obamacare exists. How much you want to bet this girl has is all still on her parents' insurance? No, I'd, I'd rather bet that she has all of it. <laughs> she, she just talked about it. I can almost guarantee she has all of that. Opportunity to have the things that you have, so you are not some man in the skies favorite because you are better than others. You are privileged, and that's okay. Just use your privilege in a positive way, and, and remember. Give me money. <laughs> give me my money. Me, not not anyone. <laughs> me, 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 me. That you are not hashtag blessed. Authentic. This is probably gonna piss off a lot of people. But a relationship between a man and a woman oh, is inherently unequal. And that goes for any relationship where someone is deciding to date their oppressor. Just like all- I saw the astrology cup. I Wait. still listened. I made a mistake. I should have stopped after I saw the astrology zodiac signs in What the is cup. she saying? She's saying She's that saying women are oppressed. Women and men should date? Yeah. Because men are automatically the oppressor. So then she shouldn't be born. Wait. <laughs> Wait. She would... Yeah. Her mom and dad... That's what I'm saying. ...had her... Oh my god. Now she has two moms in option. Well then she... Then her... For, whatever. Whoever... <laughs> whoever put it out of themselves. Whoever just pushed her out and said... Man had to do something, you know? Something had to go somewhere. Yeah. All white people have racism brainwashed into them. All oh, males have misogyny. Oh, Loki. Yeah. <laughs> really? You know, as soon as I was born, seeing the color of skin, I was like, yeah, I'm racist. You know? <laughs> I came out of the womb, saw my doctor skin. I just ran back. Came out of the womb, saw my doctor wasn't white. I was done. I was. I went back in. <laughs> you know so I'm stupid. Like you're not brainwashed. Like I, I don't understand. Like it's just stupid. Why even argue these things, bro? What's the point? What's the point of complaining all day? It doesn't do anything. As I'm complaining. <laughs> as as I'm complaining these people. about these people. Still, it's just, it's, oh my god. Neo complaining. Misogyny brainwashed into them. And any male who claims not to be a misogynist is a misogynist. Okay, well then, sure. I don't care. I'll what definitely do you say it. I hate women. <laughs> If you're all women, I hate you. If that's what you want to hear, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if that's what you are, I probably hate you, so... Because a self-aware man knows that he has it brainwashed. Okay, how much you want to bet that she got rejected a lot and she's taking it out because she's a little bit bigger? Well, on the bigger side. Which is okay. 
Which is fine. Yeah. But also don't take it out on anyone else. True. Remember, you ever see that photo of like the girl that was like, I went over, a, I'm fat and I went over a high value man and he rejected me. Here's my story. They made a news article about it. Like, of course, some dude that's like a 10 out of 10 isn't going to talk to a girl that's like a 3 out of 10. I mean, that's just how it works, you know? Like, that's just how it That's be. not even personality at that point, because personality can only go so far. It was on a dating app. Ooh. You know I'm really mean? stretching it. Yeah, like, why would I slide yes on that? Yeah. Like, what, was the, what would the point be? Like, I don't know you. I don't care to know you. You <laughs> should probably pay for your dinner. You <laughs> should probably eat it. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> into him. And any time that a woman decides to be in a relationship with a man, anxiety help oh you. Shut the fuck up. God. There is absolutely no Notre reason Dame, yeah. why Hurricane Ida should have done that much damage to Louisiana and Mississippi and along yeah. the path that it's going to take. Yeah, where is this going? And part of the reason why is because there is infrastructural and environmental racism in a lot of. I knew it. I what I knew it. the fuck? Oh wait, no. I want to hear off fully. Just keep. I want to. I want to hear this from minority and low socioeconomic communities. There's no reason that the southern border of Louisiana should still be struggling to figure out what type of infrastructure and technology they can use to prevent minority communities from being destroyed. And on top of that, not just being destroyed, hold on, hold on, but- hold on, hold on. Florida, mostly old white people got decimated by a hurricane. No. No, it didn't. It didn't. Fort Myers Beach is not destroyed. <laughs> it's just, it's rebuilding. It's, re it's in a rebuild phase. It's like Here's how you gotta look at it. So the Texans, a new football team, right? Mm -hmm. 2003 just came out. They're struggling. Why? Because they're they're new. You know, they're trying to find their way in. They're they're getting there. But you know, it seems like Chicago Bears. They're struggling right now. But nobody cares. It's fine. How about them Bears? Dan? How about them? It's just when you when you look at the the great scheme of things. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you really think about it? Because it's long, happening everywhere. <laughs> think about long hard and for a while. You just, I, don't think, I don't give a shit about so, what you think. Like, think about this. If like a, a tornado just hit this town we're in, it's not because of racism. <laughs> like It's going to destroy no matter what. It's, it's not because it's racist. I don't, the, the, the hurricane was racist. I, I, see, see, I what. see what she's saying, but it makes no, no fucking sense. But it, it doesn't have logic when it also happens everywhere else. I get, like, you know, the towns are probably not exactly safe for hurricanes, and they could probably be better. It's fucking, it's it a also, fucking hurricane, it's a bro. hurricane. There's not much stuff you can do to stop a massive hurricane. That was a big hurricane. Hurricane Ida was big. It's gonna do damage. Like, hurricane Ida was racist. 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 I had just a, a white, white name. name. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like Mexican, right? It's like a little bit more, um, sand. Portuguese. Maybe. I don't know. I can see me in Portuguese. I just, I just don't, don't sound a white name. Wait, Wait maybe, maybe it is. Like, I don't know. What about Adam? <laughs> but you like, you know what I mean? That's it. I don't know. Should we look it up on Gender Wiki? No. We're going to leave Gender Wiki out of the situation. But also having to put in their own resources to rebuild their own community. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's your fucking. It's your house. It's your town. Why would. <laughs> Why would me from Chicago or from, from Chicago go down to your house and rebuild it for you? Because you're it's because her hand was racist. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Simple. Fucking okay, evil. Like, wake up and smell the flowers, people. Okay? They're I love the smell of roses. You go to Notre Dame, you're probably really privileged. Your parents are probably paying for all your tuition. Your parents are probably paying for all your tuition. I told that one of the most best colleges in the fucking I guess she did not get a free ride. She hasn't really seen that. She seems like she can talk smart, but like, if you're looking at application, like, if you really look into what she just said, it makes no sense. She got a full ride for gender studies. The biblical theology. Biblical theology and gender studies. There is race embedded into every decision in the United States of America, and the sooner that we realize that, the sooner we can stop. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna I go, go to Casey's. I get a pizza. Am I racist because I decided to go to Casey's? Like, like what, what are you saying? What? Okay. How am I supposed to constantly make a decision and know if it's racist or not? So, here's how I think of it. 
complete game. Like, you're, you're, you're a genius. You rolled to dots. You have thirty-five dollars in your account. The other person, maybe not the card you're in, has one fifty more or less. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But he decides to get a cheeseburger with his money. But you decide to get a quarter pounder. Get a quarter pounder. Double quarter pounder. Let that's bacon racist. And let us some cheese. According to her, that's racist. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because it's not equal. But it's almost like. It's their choice to get my body, my choice to get a cheeseburger, and it was your choice to get a quarter pounder. <laughs> it was your choice to get a portion. <laughs> <laughs> These people, bro, I, I, can't, racist, I, okay? I can't even argue. I can't argue with this fucking. If anyone's privileged, it's her. She's privileged. I mean, she got another day. Looks like a nice little clean room. Yeah, like a grandfather clock or something. I don't know what that is. Doesn't it kind of look like grandfather clock. Another day is pretty. She got nice glasses. Nice glasses. Probably like a $120 freaking hoodie, sweat jacket. Oh, it's expensive. Like, oh, it's shut up. Yeah. For mm-hmm. five minutes of your life. Ridiculous, really. Stop people from dying because of things that could have been prevented. Something that's been bothering me about the fact that Texas restrictive abortion laws are going in effect today is how a lot of American journalists and, you know, commentators are comparing this to the Taliban and Sharia law. And I just want to point it out, if you don't already know this, if you can't already clock it, this is Islamophobia. What is going on with Texas right now has nothing to do with the racist boogeyman that you've conjured up in your mind. And it has everything to do with the fact that right-wing evangelism caused this. That's it. Point blank, period. It has to do with the fact that white people's birth rates are declining. And in a country where whiteness is power... Alright, two things here. That is a right-wing thing, uh, the abortion laws. I mean, that's pretty obvious. She's not wrong about that. But, like, also, the population rate is also slowing down for everybody. And white people are the majority of this country. So it would be... Any racist Makes right sense You're that racist. they would have the most decline in white babies born because they have the highest population, point blank and Density. period. Right there. I mean, it's pretty on paper for you written down. Let's get this one on board. <laughs> oh man! Oh, Ooh, whoa! Oh, another Taliban. And they're currently building the Taliban. Ar- built the Taliban army in Afghanistan, and they're currently building the Taliban wasn't, army. Wasn't it Joe Biden? No, no, no Joe Biden. No, no. I don't know. <laughs> what, I don't know what you're talking My about. My bad. It was, Joe Biden saved Afghanistan. Yeah, he, he saved, saved the Middle he East. He killed a bunch he of. He signed the uh, peace deals. He killed a decent Joe, amount of Marines. Joe Biden signed so, the but, peace deals. Joe <laughs> Biden signed them. He signed them. Joe Biden you know, signed he's, he's top tier. It wasn't Trump. It's not like he they got any Marines killed or gave them U.S. equipment. Joe no. Biden saved me. Joe Biden saved He can save you. <laughs> Joe Biden saved me. Join Joe Biden at 1-800-97-SAVE-JOE-BIDEN. <laughs> go, 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 These people, bro. Oh, my God. In don't, Texas. Don't that's right. The Texas Taliban is terrorizing women in Texas. Terrorizing They're women. letting them know that if the Taliban rape you and you get pregnant, you have to carry that terrorist baby to... Where the fuck is the Taliban in Texas? Where the I fuck think, is the Taliban? I think they're talking about Republicans. Because, you know, all Republicans hate abortions, even though it's not true. Most people just I'm tired of the abortion forward. stuff. Oh my god, she keeps talking. She talked that long about what the fuck? Oh, oh yeah, we're going through this one bit. This okay, bit. one, yes, I'm sitting in my car Ooh, because my daughter's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, let's see. Sleep. And yes, I'm using a beauty filter because yeah, it's been a long day educating the world's youth and I need it. But like, if anyone else like, get it to be related, dang it, creators, millions of dollars. I remember this girl. Yeah, divisive, so and that's here. really not what I'm trying to say. Why not you do? I'm a grown up. I'm pregnant. Go back, go back. It's funny. Go, okay, keep going back, one. Keep going back, keep going back. Oh, you're so annoying. Keep going back. Keep going back. Seven? Oh, we haven't watched this one yet. Before we get into it, to make sure you like the go as Raleigh's go over the fight to underground. You can just some east. And queer. In reason for me about why having queer representation 
and queer educators and queer education in the classroom from a young age is so that these kids will grow up to either be wonderful and accepting and or terrible and dehumanizing enemies. Or they're going to be um, very accepting. Why are they talking like... <laughs> they're either going to be very accepting people or Republicans. That's basically what they say. Ally. I'm free. No, big um, Nick, you, you should also go down. Is the main reason. Okay, you... If you don't agree with that, you, oh, you're. You Gen Thank you for your question. So, what is gender fun? Gender is a spectrum. If you don't agree with that, you, you're not in the right place, man. You're not in the right place, man. With my. With <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. I can't. I can't. So I can't do it anymore. I can't. I'm going fucking crazy. I, I want to. Okay. Crazy. I want to talk a little real quick. In my eyes, there's three genders, but realistically, two. You can either be male, female, goldie, or non-binary. You can be goldie or non-binary, which still really is only two, because non-binary, you're not either one. You're just nothing. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're not, not, you're not, you don't you're identify not, as either one. You're not conforming. But there is a mental disorder, and I'm not calling all these people that do it mentally ill, but gender dysphoria is an actual thing. Is an actual thing. Just like, um... And people that suffer do actually have a hard problem with that, and then people that say it's okay when it's not... For that person. Is a problem, is all I'm going to say about this whole gender thing. Do you think this person's happy? No. Not then right. why are they telling me that I'm wrong? When I'm fine? Because you're wrong. Okay. It's because you're white, cis male. Because I'm privileged. Why are, you, why are you talking? You're privileged. <laughs> you, Don't even... Um, why are you talking? Why well, aren't they privileged or white? You see this? Privilege. Privilege. You have a piece of paper with Sharpie on it. You're fucking privileged. If you bought a Sharpie that's 479, you're privileged. <laughs> New job privilege. New <laughs> privilege. Come on now. But we're going to go on the assumption that gender is a spectrum. On this spectrum, sometimes people I identify as gender fluid, meaning they bounce between male and female or landing somewhere in between. Gender flan means that I live on the gender fluid spectrum, but I never identify it's as... It's like a surfer. You're on the wave. But sometimes you hit a good one, and yeah. sometimes you don't hit a You know, you're out there, you know, you're cranking the car, and sometimes you're going 45, the other days you're going, you're going 20, 20, and then those random days you're going 70 on the highway. Like, it's crazy like that. Yeah. I usually land somewhere as non-binary or all the way male, which is why my pronouns are he or they. I don't prefer either one exclusively because neither one of those exclusively fit me <laughs> on so a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so yeah, if you have any more questions, let me know. So I found out that I'm not allowed to tell students that I'm gay, um, because it could be seen as supporting a single political party, and it could be seen as a political issue. So if anybody asks, I just really like rainbows. Like, I just really like rainbows. Okay, dude. I'm oh my god, she's I'm so say quirky. I don't care if you're gay or straight, or all, all seven, I don't care. Don't say it to your kids. I don't care. I don't want to hear about your husband if you're a girl. I don't want to hear about your wife if you're a girl. I don't want to... Uh, vice versa. I don't care. I don't want to hear about your personal life. You're here to yeah. teach. If I'm... Okay. So, if I'm in my... I'd say... I'm not going to say that class. But say math class. I don't take math. I know what class you're going to say. Yep, 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 yep. But I don't have math class this year because I took my three years. It's done. How do you... And this teacher... I just want to learn math. And then after the, when he's done teaching, I want to put in AirPods, watch a TV show, and do my math, which I would never eventually do. I don't want to hear about he or she has a gay partner, or it's, it's not because I it's not because I think it's wrong. It's because I don't care. Or he or she has a straight partner. Exactly. Or I, he or she has kids. Like yeah, same thing for straight people. I don't care if if your wife or, or husband's fine. I don't give a fuck. I want to do the work and move along out of your class. I don't care if you have. A straight gay relationship, I don't give a fuck. That's what sums this, this teacher's up. Jurassic Park, by the way, great movie. Man, I think it says something different. It does say something different, but... Oh, it says uh, Ever Girl. Oh. Or something, I don't know. Rainbows. Like, I really like rainbows. No politics in Miss Leia's classroom. She just...
I bet you everybody hates her in that school. I guarantee you no one likes Nobody her. Nobody likes her. I know who she reminds me of, and you know who I'm talking oh, yeah. about. No, we, we got it. We dialed, we dialed it Subway. Right now. Subway. 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 Really likes rainbows. Rainbow duct tape? That's just because I really like rainbows. Rainbows a- aren't political. Not at all. Rainbows are just colorful and fun. It's not a political thing at all. It's just that I really like rainbows. What? This? This is a... Stop. Like, Her no room is finds... such a mess. Yeah. Like, I'd be pissed if I had to walk in that classroom every day. Only thing I like is the carpet. God, I'd be so pissed if I walked in that classroom every day. Like, I'd, I'd want to, like, actually kill myself. No, not even joking. If I walked in that class every day... I'd be depressed. I'd be so depressed. I'd, I'd want to kill myself. Like, no one wants to know about anything no. about you. No, I agree. You're here to... You have a job, okay? Get the job done. I can't wait till AI just teaches me, because I can't deal with these people. <laughs> They're fucking annoying. They're mm-hmm. so fucking annoying. And political. This is just... That I really like rainbows. So if you're not on the gay girl side of TikTok, then you might not. She's kind of bad though. God damn it. <laughs> well, I just say she's Yo, straight. yo, see what's a Trumpy? <gasps> Watch this person no. say they're trans. Danny, watch this person say they're trans. Then we're done. We're done for. No, but at the moment, Jojo Siwa is in a little bit of hot water because she is currently dating a known Trump supporter. So of course she's dating. Oh my God, Danny. Dude, you have a friend that Dude. likes Joe Biden. Dude. Fucking leave. Dude, 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 dude. She's dating a trophy. Dude. Oh, there goes my world. Dude. No. I can't. I can't. No. I'm gonna knock it right by. George Osiwa, never the politics world. Just dating a trophy. Oh, my God. She's in hot water. How will she recover? The one's over. My life's over. Oh my I can't breathe. I can't do it anymore. Woo! Alright. Of course, that's calling into question if Jojo Siwa herself is also a Republican and possibly a Trump matter? supporter. And I just have to say, as a person in marine conservation, the idea that Jojo Siwa is a. What did she say? Rearing conservation? I don't know. Keep saying what she was saying. What she was saying. Republican is not that ludicrous. The amount of exploitation it takes to create a Jojo Siwa is astronomical. And I mean exploitation of people and the planet. I mean, look at the merch that she creates. It's all really cheap stuff made in places where the people aren't paid. That shirt you wore was on sale. It was a clearance sale. Okay, you want to know where it was made? Made in Taiwan. <laughs> made in Taiwan by some hourly wage worker that does not give like, two shits about you. The clothing is made in places where it's cheap because it's cheap. Bonsai, it's how it works. Whoa, no, whoa, my God. And if you really wanted stuff made here, it costs a lot. Because it's America. You wouldn't vote for Democrats that are constantly pushing shit overseas. You would not vote for Democrats. Just saying. That's true. You would not be voting Democrats. And that's basic knowledge. A fair wage. That's, That's how it's so cheap. And that's also how she became so popular. And over the years, as I've talked to Trump supporters and Republicans to try and understand their logic, it has generally come down to one consensus. And that's that they put their wealth and their status above the needs and basic human rights of everybody else. It's not my responsibility. It's it's not. It's my not. Idea. It's not. It's not. I. It's not on me to make sure that anyone else is happy. It's 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 not. It's always like it's my family, my friends, and like you know the family friends and all that around me. I make sure they're happy and me happy. But anybody past that, I don't care. And that worker that makes your shirt gives no shit no about shit. you. Doesn't know you exist. Doesn't go on like, TikTok. I care for the people I know myself. And I obviously care for my money. Money's important. I ain't gonna lie. But that's what I care for. And if that, that's what a Republican and Trumpy is, that's what I am. I don't know. Wise words from Dan. Wise words. DJA. DJ. I'm a planet. Which seems like it might unfortunately be what's happening here. I have a question for the uh, Alphabet Mafia. If you're not a member of the LGBTQIA community and you're somehow straight and found me, one, how? And two, just keep scrolling. So I am apogender, my pronouns are he, they, and as you can tell, I am mask presenting. So uh, my question is this, I always get he, 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 I almost never get the they. Because I'm mask presenting, and I do appear more masculine, does that just negate the they? Is your pronouns When I walk up to someone, I don't immediately think, oh, you know what, their pronouns must be he, they. They must be he, they. I probably think, you know what, I'm just going to go on a wing based on 
you know, human attributes like your face structure. Yeah, your beard. Your beard. The hair. Maybe come your, over. your body. Yeah. Maybe um, your, I, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot. If you look at someone, if you look at a lot of people, you can tell if they're male or female. Like, yeah. even if they were bald, you could tell because and they just have facial features that make them a certain way. This is beyond, like, complaining. Because he said his pronouns are he, they, but they call him he. And he complains that they don't call him that. And then he says he's masculine. Like, presenting. you're complaining over nothing, my boy. You seem like a cool guy. I'm sure you, you rock out to some music. Likes Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath will maybe Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> you see this in this guy? I mean, I'm sure you're cool. But you got to realize what you're saying. That you're saying you're he, they. People are going to call you he. And you're saying you're presenting masculine. You look like I mean, a dude. It's you just obvious. have to deal with that. You got it. It's right in front of you. Point blank and shoot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about you. Sorry. I'm like, Ooh, I'm like, oh, fuck. I have a question for other genderqueer educators. I am just finishing up my teaching degree, and I was wondering how you all respond when students or parents misgender you in a way that doesn't turn into a power struggle. You're having a power struggle with se- like seventh graders. I still graders. don't want to like talk about this teacher shit. No I think we're done. I think we're, I think like, we're done. I think I think I've had it. I'm burnt I, out of. I think we're gonna have a mental breakdown in about five minutes. I, I just burnt down. We're running about fifty-five minutes. That, that's fine. I, I'm just I'm under because we're saying the same shit and it's just it's just fighting you can't win this we're fight. fighting demons bro you can't win the fight I mean that's what it is we're fighting demons yeah you look a little conquered did the liberals win today the liberals won. The liberals won today <laughs> we can't handle it no more what should we name this episode the liberals. all TikToks <laughs> should it just be liberals period liberals Period. That's the title. But I'm so angry, dude. Liberals won today because we couldn't handle it no more. We're burnt out by these. these We're up. gonna beat them next time. Next We're gonna time, come back stronger. Vote TikTok six. We're winning. No, no more we vote TikToks. Winning. We're done with TikToks for a while. <laughs> at least, by a while, I mean at least one. At least one. Episode. We're gonna have one. Episode, <laughs> at most one. No TikToks part seven, six. So. All right. But, should we just go to an hour? I think like three minutes. Well, this is an outro, and if it gets there, it gets there. Okay. Um, Twitter. Did we? Do, did you? No, because you said Amy. Amy, Amy, Amy. We have Amy, a Twitter. Amy. Oh, what we about? We made it last time. I'm just saying, follow it. Oh, you, did you see what the new policy is? You can't promote your other platforms, and they went back on it. But because Elon, Elon was a little angry about that, Elon. and then he stepped down. He's not stepping down. That's what he, he said. Such a lie. That's what he said. Yeah, I know what he said. But um, follow Twitter, Instagram. Christmas Bridge coming out within the next day, hours. I don't know, it'll be the first one to get it. Use code CHRISTMAS, 10% off. No, nope, that's... <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> code code Christmas. CHRISTMAS, it might do something, it might not. I don't know. If you came this far, use code CHRISTMAS for 10% off. It only worked on the Christmas merch. But it'll only be on the Christmas merch. Code CHRISTMAS, 10% off. I don't know how much I get you off, but 10% is cool. Get your money off. Save your money. Get your money up, not your funny up. Make sure well, we're, all, we're already funny. We're literally little boy fat man. <laughs> Except sure. the order goes fat man little boy. But yeah, I know. Make sure him. Always like, share the video, hit the little share button. On, the on there, share this. And, uh, yeah. TikTok, follow TikTok. How's your day been, Danny? You really want to get to an hour? I like numbers. Monday's been fantastic. Oh, make sure everybody have a good Christmas and the people out there doing finals. Hope your finals go good. And the people who don't celebrate Christmas, have a good one. Have a good Hanukkah. Have a good the other one that I don't know the name. Do they do do something? Cronus. What? There's another one. Yeah, okay, we're going to end it on this because we want to say happy Christmas. What is... Or Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Christmas. And happy... And happy... They don't do anything on Christmas. They do. What's it called? It's just not a Muslim holiday. Happy Ramadan. <laughs> That's like in April or something. I don't know. No, there is a third one. There's or always Ram. a third one. Just look it up. Look I up, did. I looked up look what up, is no, no, no. Islam Christmas. Look up what, what happy holidays. What, what, are, what falls under happy holidays? Because I'm curious now. Why do you gotta be so technical about it? Because you, this is really what you fucking what said to compass? me. What Why do you guys say that? Because that's what you fucking said to me. You can't even spell. 
Yeah, because it autocorrects for me, buddy. I'm sorry, my two spirit doesn't really like what you're saying right now. National Ugly Christmas? What the fuck? Dude, I, I, I don't know what to say, Danny. I okay, don't think there's a third one I don't know of. Um, Mary Islam. I don't Mary know. Mary Islam. I don't know what it's called, but the Happy Hanukkah for the Jews. And uh, oh, We're going to start on our own holiday for, during this time. Make rib day. You are just pushing the one hour. Right, they're right. like 14 seconds away. All right, we're going to end it. We're going to end it on the dot. Ready? No. 10, no. 9, 8, 7, I swear to God, if you end it early, I will be. If five, it's 59, 59, four, I will cry. 3, 2, two 